Welcome back guys. Today we're going to be making something pretty fun. It's going to be a blueberry lemon simple syrup. Great for cake, great for pancakes, great for anything that you want to do. But today we're going to add in a secret, secret ingredient. Okay, so first we're going to talk about a cup of blueberries, a cup of sugar, a lemon, a cup of water, any water will do. That's basically our simple syrup. Now, if we cook it for long enough, it'll start getting very syrupy. Great, I said, for breakfast and other things. But we're going to stop the cooking a little bit early and mix it with this guy, grain alcohol. So we're going to make us a, a blueberry lemon chiller. Um, I don't want to call it a lemon cello or, you know, because it's not, but it's very similar. Let's go ahead and get this thing started. It's really quick and easy, and you'll be enjoying either a pancake syrup or a, a blueberry drink uh, soon enough. All right, let's get rolling. We just pulled it out of the fridge. It's been in here for, it been in there for a couple hours. I gave it a little shake. You can really smell the blueberries. Let's give it a try. Let's see what we got. Nice. It's a little sweet. And you guys may have noticed that I only used a little bit of uh, a grain alcohol, the Everclear. That's because it's pretty strong stuff. You know, using a quarter cup uh, or even half a cup is usually pretty good. But for, for this particular drink, I'm just gonna top it off a little bit more. I'll have to shake this back up. The beauty of making a drink like this on your own is it's made the taste, right? The most important thing is that you get the simple syrup right. Once you get that right, and it could be any fruits and flavors you like, then you can mix in you know, the water to cut down the Everclear and put in as much booze as you want. Uh, I was trying not to make blueberry fire water, and I think I succeeded in avoiding that. Just have something that's really nice and drinkable. Oh yeah, just that little bit extra Everclear really gave it a smooth, nice um, counterbalance to the sweetness of the blueberry. You may also want to use more lemon. Um, so I kind of miniaturized this down. Like I said, I used a, um, the basis for a family limoncello recipe, which I'll do at some point also as well. But yeah, you could add more lemons in here as well. So this is very blueberry forward. So a little bit of sourness at the end. I prefer a little bit more. I'll zest it. Maybe I'll cut up some lemon slices and, and garnish, leave them in the cup, uh, you know, to kind of soak and, and do its thing. But overall, this is a real success. I'm glad you guys are able to come on this journey. Like and comment on this video, share it, subscribe to the channel. Um, anything that uh, we're doing here, we want to share with you. And uh, this is, I think, a pretty good start for summer or for anything else. We may also uh, change this up a little bit for Thanksgiving. Who knows? Until next time, I really enjoyed this drink and I think you will too. Please consume responsibly. Don't drink if you're under 21.